morning all hope you're doing well it's March it's raining my bag weighs a ton it's time for another camp I think so let's go alright so I'm not far from camp now and uh, it looks like it's going to be a wet one today but the forecast says it should improve as the day progresses so I uh, hope it gets a bit better but as I stand here with my glasses steaming up pain in the ass um, I've got um, a few things that I want to get done today on, on the camp um, I'm going to meet up with Des in a minute he camped here last night um, but my plan is to sort of probably get tarped up as soon as I get into camp to get some protection from the weather um, have a cup of tea naturally and um, I've got a, uh, a bread mix with me today in my Dutch oven which is the main reason why my rucksack weighs so much um, I was surprised I could get a bread mix to be honest with you because the nation seems to have gone mental at the moment clearing the shops of any food they can get their hands on and um oh Christ bloody, bloody glasses steaming up yeah so I've got a got a bread mix despite all the panic buying and I want to bake a nice loaf of bread today to have with me lunch and dinner I might share a little bit with Des so we'll see how it goes if he makes me a cup of tea now I'll share a bit with him let's, let's, let's say that uh, and thereafter usual sort of things I think practice a bit of uh, fire lighting I'm, I'm, I'm trying to um, practice uh, fire lighting techniques by using by only the materials that I can collect on the day in the location that I'm visiting um, but one caveat to that is that I'm trying to avoid using uh, birch bark because that's kind of everyone's go-to really when you're out in the woods and you're, you're practicing bushcraft and the like and I want to try and become less reliant on birch bark and um, more practiced in other techniques such as feather sticks um, there's loads of clematis around here I'm going to mess about with a bit of that I think bracken as well, grass but everything's a bit wet today so that's going to add another dimension to, to everything that I'm doing so I'll, I'll probably have a play about that later as well and then if I've got time I've got my whittling kit in the bag as well and um, maybe do a bit of a spoon carving or, or whatnot. I'll see how it goes but yeah hopefully it should be a good camp I'm looking forward to it and I'll uh, bring you along as and when I can remember to, to uh, press the record button and hopefully cobble together a video out of this so I'll bring you back in a bit cheers got the Dutch bivy all set up there first time I've used that so I'm looking forward to uh, see uh, seeing how I get on with that tonight usual setup inside it really sleeping mat two season sleeping bag it's not going to be cold tonight and I've got room to store my kit up the back there as well lovely I'll just go inside it I've not zipped it up yet sleeping bag out pillow one of those bags at the back there and then I'll tell you what I've done differently I've got me uh, self inflating mat this time this is a change and that's it
That's all nicely proofed. That's the second proof. So I'm gonna slice it open a little bit and then it's time to cook. raining again beautiful British weather lovely Asking a bit much of this axe. Do you want my forest axe? Let's see how, let's see how it goes. Yeah, I bet you might be alright. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. It's gone. Didn't damage the shaft. Pine feathers really nice. Oh, it does, yeah. GoPro stop recording. So, I've made loads and loads of fine scrapings down here, and I've got the feather sticks, kindling sticks, all out of one lot and some big fuel down there so I'm going to try and ignite it now let's go I don't use oh yeah spoon it there you went done it straight away barn look at that Pissed it mate. Done better than I did. Yeah. Yeah, it's catching, isn't it? Slowly, yeah, but you're right, I could have done it a bit. Made them a bit like matchstick sort of. Before you put the bigger stuff on. Yeah. Oh, that's going on, isn't it? Careful, you might throw your stuff out of the bottom. You've still got a flame there. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Happy dice. Happy dice. 
makes you feel all warm inside, literally. Warm and fuzzy. Warm and fuzzy. That wood was so nice though. Hey? That wood was so nice. Oh mate, isn't it? Good morning. Yeah. Been up about half hour now. Done my ablutions. Had a cup of tea. It was quite a nice night last night. A bit windy. The wind got up a little bit. Um, enough to wake me up a couple of times. But Normally I just wake myself up snoring if I'm honest with you. So That's normally a good sign that I've had a good night's sleep. Really pleased with the new bivvy bag. That was really comfortable, really warm. Um, I was able to stuff my rucksack down in the uh, the foot end of it so that it kind of lifted the fabric up off of me my, uh, my legs as well, which I think was quite handy. But stacks and stacks of room in there. Really, really like using that. As you can see there, though, I started to pack it down now and uh, strike camp. We'll probably have another brew though and another and a bowl of um porridge before I um pack everything away though and then head off home. But yeah, another nice camp. Good to get out of Des again. We recorded a podcast last night, so that'll be um published soon no doubt. And um head on over to Des's channel and his links on his Instagram to check that out as as and when he publishes it. I'm sure it'll be um worth a listen and that's it for now I think folks I'll be back out again next month all being well and I'll uh, bring you back for that in another video so thanks for watching hope you enjoy it let me know in the comments what you think or if there's anything different I should do and I'll uh, see you on the next camp bye for now secret ingredients don't tell anybody all right this is just between me and you all right okay yes i'll put flax in